right so this is the number six dirty data we are going to clean and this one has accounts extracts with combined columns so if you are an accountant or even if you are not an accountant it's possible for you to have data set that has some kind of ordering or some kind of hierarchy of the categories all together in a single column when they actually should be in separate columns so for example we have three columns combined together in this singular column a because income statement is supposed to show us what is the type of account that's where we have income statement and we also have balance sheet as an account type but when you check the dirty data you will see that the income statement just stays as an outline header and then you also have the balance sheet staying as an outline header like the first level of the header then you have the second level of the headers where you have revenue then you have cost you have long-term assets and you also have current assets meanwhile they are supposed to be a different column called category so you have your revenue there you have your cost you have your long-term assets and you also have your current assets then you now have your final level that contains a subcategory the stores one two and three some other stores here some kind of fixed assets or long-term assets here and some kind of short-term or current assets here and that is supposed to be a separate column called subcategory then you have your numbers so this is a clean data and this is what we are going to try to achieve in power query this data is already in my power query let's see how to struggle with it so the first thing we're going to do here is i will go to my transform tab and i'm going to make sure i use my first row as header so when i have header i want to apply my header straight away so use first row as headers now the next thing i want to do is we have some empty rows in this data set that i would like to remove so row 6 is completely empty row 11 is completely empty and some other empty rows like that I will simply go to my home tab where I have remove rows. I also have remove blank rows. So I'm going to click on remove blank rows and that's going to delete all the empty rows that we have in the data set. Now we have to apply some kind of tricks here. So if you notice what we can use to identify different levels of headers we have here is based on some kind of spacing, some kind of hidden characters that we cannot really see. So for example, the first level of the headers that we have, we have two items, income statement and balance sheets, and you can see that they don't have any leading spaces. Then we have the second level of headers for revenue, for cost, for long-term assets, for current assets, and you can see that those ones have some kind of leading spaces not so much as the third level of items that we have for stores, for land and building, and for the other items that we have under our current assets. Those ones have a larger number of leading spaces between them. So what we can actually use to separate one level from the other level is in terms of the leading spaces. So we have to fashion out a way to cleverly separate these columns based on those items. Now, my recommendation for something like this to make it easy without stressing too much is that we have to replace the leading spaces with a character, a special character, so to say. So now if I select the revenue, for example, and I go to where I can see the revenue item here, you remember that the pattern for this revenue is the same pattern for cost. They have the same number of leading spaces. So what I'll do is I will come right before the first character of any one of them, either revenue or cost. Then I'm going to highlight all the way to the left like this. This identifies the character that we have or the number of leading spaces that we have, which I don't really need to count. So I can actually copy that with Control C. And let's say that I want to replace that with asterisk as a special character. So if I right click now, and I use my replace values, it's going to ask me which value I want to replace. I will just control V what I copied. Then I'm going to replace that with my star and I'm going to click OK. You are going to see how this affects all of them, including the revenue and the store. So this is why we have to be clever 
And what we are going to do to be clever is I'm going to remove this replace value because when I replace those amounts of empty spaces, remember that they also are part of this one. So if this one has six empty spaces and this one has two, we will definitely get to two before we get to six. That is why you will see that affect all of them like that. So what I will do is I'm going to start with the higher one. So I will select this store one. I will go underneath here just before the first character. Highlight all the way to the left for all the numbers of leading spaces we have there. I'm going to control C to copy that. Then I can right click on column one. I can replace values and I'm going to say I want to replace control V of all those things I copied. I should replace that with my star. I'm going to click OK and you will see that only those store ones are going to be replaced. Then I can go to select the revenue. Highlight that, Control C. I will select my column one. Right click, replace values. Control V to paste what I copied. I want to replace this one with a forward slash and I'm going to click OK. So now I have different levels identified with different initial characters. So first, all the first levels, income statement, Balance sheet, they don't have anything preceding them. The second levels, revenue, costs, long-term assets, current assets, they are preceded by a forward slash. Then the third levels, stores, um, land, building, motor vehicles, and so on and so forth, those ones are preceded with stars. Now I can select my column one. I'm going to go to add column. I will start by extracting text after delimiter and i'm going to extract first the one after my forward slash i will click ok and you will see that helps me to bring out the revenues the cost which are essentially the second level of items that we have i just need to ensure that i rename this properly as category so these are the categories then i'm going to repeat the same thing select my column one Add column, extract, text after delimiter. Now, this delimiter is going to be my star. I'm going to click OK. That gives me the level 2 items or level 3 items rather. And I need to rename that as the subcategory. So, this is subcategories. Now, since the first level... The income statement and the balance sheet do not have any kind of preceding characters. I'm going to use a conditional column to figure them out because they don't have preceding characters. Every other thing has preceding characters, right? So I'm going to add column and I'm going to use a conditional column here. My column name is going to be called account type. And then I'm going to say if column one in my operator i will say begins with that if column one begins with a forward slash i want to output nothing null then i'm going to add clause to say else if column one begins with a star i don't want anything there that means i want a null Else, if it doesn't have a forward slash, it doesn't have a star, then that is my guy right there. So I'm going to come to the else part. I will change this value output to select the column. And I would like to output whatever we have inside column one. So that it can easily return income statement where the line is income statement. And it can return balance sheet where the line is balance sheet. Then I'm going to click OK here. And I will have my account type column with the income statements and the balance sheet. Now, the next thing that we are going to do here is really everything from this income statement all the way to this point, they are income statements. Everything from this balance sheet all the way to this point, they are all balance sheet items. Therefore, we have to fill this column down. We also have to fill the categories down because these are all revenues up until cost and these are all costs up until long-term assets 
and so on and so forth so we also need to fill down this column as well now the thing about filling down is you can only fill down where you have null values so i need to right click on my categories column here replace values now what value do i want to replace i want to replace nothing actually with null so where there is nothing i want to replace that with null i'm going to click ok then i can select my categories column hold control and select my account type then i'm going to right click and i'm going to fill down so now i have filled those two columns down at the same time and the final thing that we are going to do here is where there is no subcategory which is the final level so you have an account type then you have a category and then you have a subcategory and then you are essentially going to have some amounts in 2022 and also in 2023 but where there is no subcategory that means there is no line item so to say i can go to my subcategory column click on that drop down and i'm going to uncheck the blanks i'm going to click ok and then I have a clean data set. All I have to do now is rearrange the columns the way I think should be fine. So I can select categories, hold control to select subcategories, hold control to select account type. I'm going to right click and I will move all of them to the beginning of the data. And account type, I believe, should be the first thing. So I can drag account type and place that as the first one. And this is my column one. Thank you very much. You are no longer required. I can right click and remove that.